Good afternoon, folks. Thanks for being here today. I have uh, two announcements to make for you. Uh, probably no surprise to all of you, but uh, the first one uh, that I'd like to talk about is uh, basically uh, based on a uh, meeting that I had with uh, Coach Norm Chow, and we had our an we had our annual meeting last week, and we talked about the program, and uh, we talked about the kinds of things that uh, we felt needed to be done in the program. Uh, you know, I made a decision that uh, to make a recommendation to the chancellor, and the chancellor supported that decision that Norm Chow uh, will be coaching the 2015 season uh, for the Rainbow Warriors. So uh, he will be returning. You know, one of the things uh, I think, uh, as I took from our conversation, uh, was that uh, we 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 definitely needed to improve in some areas. Uh, but I felt that there was sufficient progress being made. You know, I, one of the things uh, that I've always said, and I said to all of you, that sometimes, you know, in this game, you know, especially here in the Valley, uh, that, uh, you know, um, football here, even though it's not a professional sport, it's an intercollegiate sport. It's about academics and athletics. It's about doing the right things in the program. And it's about making sure that our student athletes are, are at their best, both on the field and in the classroom. And Norm Tal has done that. He has made sure with his leadership ability that we have had um, success and, and not just the wins and losses on the field, but also in the classroom. We have, as a football program, this has vastly improved in terms of the academic scale. We have a, we have a team GPA that is as high as it's ever been. We have a graduated success rate that is on an upward climb. We have an APR that is high uh, and for the program, and I'm, I'm really proud of that fact because it's the same message that we talk about with all of our programs, with all of our teams, and all of our sports about what we're trying to accomplish here. We've always said that we're going into this making sure that all of our student athletes have a great four-year experience. We're going to make sure that we're going to teach them the life lessons, both on the field, off the field. And, and I tell you what, um, I'm, I'm confident that uh, Coach Chow has done that. You know, I've, I've been around a lot of great coaches, a lot of great football coaches in my career. I know good ones. I know great ones. And I tell you what, when I watch his interaction, when I watch him talking to his players in his office, when I t see him at practice speaking to his kids and on the sideline at games, I know we have the right person. I know that he cares about his kids, about his players. And that's the thing that's most important to me, is, is that it, it's team first. It's, it's about the student athletes first. And he's always shown that to me. And uh, I'm, I'm quite proud of the effort. We have ways to go. Four and nine, it's not successful. We like, you know, we, but it's improvement. It's improvement over where we've come from. We got to keep recruiting. We got to keep building the depth. And, and I think as you've seen in recent weeks, like that, that we are having that kind of recruiting success. And it will continue. And uh, I'm confident that uh, Coach Norm Chow is going to be successful with all of his coaches that have really contributed who have worked very hard day in, day out during the season and, and in the preseason to get these kids ready for the season. So with that, um, I, again, I just want to affirm, uh, and again, with Chancellor's blessing, that uh, Norm will return for the 2015 season. The second announcement I want to make is basically concerning myself. As it's already been speculated in the paper today, and as been talked about, and uh, obviously there have been wild uh, rumors circulating and things and all kinds of things going about. But really what mattered to me, as, as recent events have shown me, and I had, had my meeting last Friday with Chancellor Blyverman about this, is that, you know, my family comes first. They've always been first, no matter what. 
They've been there to support my career. They've been there to support me wherever I'm at. But something kind of told me that I needed to take a step back. And I talked to Chancellor about this the other day. And um, I told him what I was thinking. And, and when we met yesterday, I kind of solidified what we were talking about and everything. So effective today, I am resigning as my, my position as Director of Athletics at the University of Hawaii in Manoa. It's been a great two years here, it really has been. All those coaches, all my staff back there, they've been family. They're, they are, they've been part of the Ohana. It's, it's a very hard thing for me to step away from this. But I do so knowing that I'm doing what's best for myself and for my family. And, um, and for those personal and family reasons, I've chosen to resign. Chancellor and I talked about um, my role. In the meantime, I told him I offered him my support and, and that I'd be willing to be here to help in the transition as he begins his search uh, for a new athletics director. And uh, I told him I'd be very willing to support that and, and help uh, transition to the next athletics director that's going to lead this program. This is a great program, folks. I, I, I think all of you know that. If you don't, you should know that. We have a great program, intercollegiate athletics program at the University of Wyatt Manoa. It's something that this state should be very proud of. It's something that everybody here in the state of Hawaii should be very proud of and support. And, and I ask the public and I ask all of you to make sure that that happens. Because our coaches, our student athletes, everybody involved here, the staff, everyone who puts every ounce and every blood into what they do every day here for the program deserves that kind of support deserves the kind of financial support to keep this program sustaining. And, and I will do everything I can to help in that effort. You know, I'm very proud of, of what we've been able to accomplish in just a short two years. You know, we talk about the kinds of things that are important for our student athletes. And as we have with our coaches, as I talk about the academic, you know, making sure that they have a great experience and, and making sure that they're making the grade academically, you know, we have a department that over the past two years has finally risen and has a, a department GPA of over 3.0 for the last two years. And we're very proud of that fact. We're very proud of what's been done. We're very proud of, every, uh, of all the assistance that we've given, both from all of our academic counselors and center and people like that who support our student athletes and to everybody who helps our student athletes every day, um, it, it is essential that uh, we keep this program going. And um, I, I, I'm just, I couldn't be proud of uh, where we stand right now. We've made strides in facilities. We've made strides uh, in and around the program. And, and you can see this all around us. Like that, there's still a lot of work to do. But I tell you what, um, I can honestly say that this program is definitely in better shape than when I first got here. And, uh, and I can take a little bit of solace in that. Uh, it's, uh, it's the kind of thing that uh, it's bittersweet, though, because um, it's hard to step away from family, but I got to take care of my family. And, uh, you know, all of you have been great. Uh, I appreciate what you've done as, as media members to support our program and, uh, and how you've helped us out every day. That kind of concludes my comments. Um, I, I know uh, I'd like to introduce Chancellor Bly Roman I, because I know he has some additional comments. Oh, thank you, Ben. Ben has been a very good athletics director. The accomplishments over the past couple of years have been significant. We are in a much better place today than we were in the past. It is 
clear that Ben not only cares about winning games, but he also cares about the program itself. And he cares especially about our student athletes and the kind of experience that they have. He's brought that perspective to the job and he's accomplished very much in that area. Ben and I have talked, uh, we have gotten to know each other very well. And I, though, though it's always difficult to have a period of transition, I respect Ben's needs to put his family first. When we have a job, I have a job, you have a job, that job is important, but there are other parts of our lives that are also important. And in this case, uh, I do understand that Ben has personal reasons that make it necessary for him to resign at this time. I've spoken to Ben about the timing of the resignation. Uh, ben, ben mentioned that he was making that announcement today, but actually the effective date of the resignation is the end of June. So Ben will remain as athletic director, fully as athletic director, with my complete confidence and fully in charge of the athletics program here uh, through the end of June. It will be necessary for us to think about the future and by the beginning of January, I intend to announce a process for selecting a new athletics director. It's always a little unknown how exactly that will play out and how long it will take. But our target, of course, is to have someone selected by the, uh, by the end of June so that we can have a smooth transition. Uh, it will be difficult to find someone as good as Ben. He has been very competent in many respects, in all respects. Uh, but we can meet that challenge. Hawaii has a very strong program. Hawaii athletics, I've, been in, I've lived in many places, Hawaii more than any other place. But one thing I've noticed is the important position that athletics has to Hawaii itself. It's not just the university. It's about the state of Hawaii and the people of Hawaii. And that gives us a unique strength uh, nationally, I think, and opportunities to build a program that will really be, continue really to be strong and to meet the aspirations of Hawaii's people. Uh, part of that will be the search for a new athletic director. We also need to think deeply about the nature of athletics and how we are going to create a sustainable program. Uh, all of that needs to happen and I look forward to Ben's continuing support over the next six months. Six and a half, seven months? Um, and we will move forward together. Uh, ben has my complete confidence. I'm, I should also mention that with respect to the, uh, Ben's uh, recommendation that decision that Norm Chow should coach next season, I fully support that. That is the athletic director's job is to make decisions like that, and I think this was the right decision in that case. So I look forward uh, to the future. The transition over the next six months is something that we have to work on together, all of us, and I'm, let me say again how grateful I am to Ben for his willingness to help out, to step up in not only the past, but also during this transition period. Thanks.